In this video, we will go on to look at period controls within Sage 200. One of the key features that Sage 200 has over and above Sage 50 is the ability for the user to control how each of the periods are operated within the system. When setting up Sage 200, very simply within the Accounting System Manager, a user can come in and set up the accounting periods they wish to use. They can have anything between 1 and 20 accounting periods in their particular financial year. As you can see, then, independently, we have the sales, purchase ledger, cash book, stock, and nominal ledgers. Each of these can be closed down independently, and also we can control with settings in the background how many open periods for each ledger are allowed. As an example, at the close of July 31st, we could, for instance, come in and close the accounting period for our sales ledger to prevent any further sales being posted into that period. But perhaps we could leave the purchase ledger open for a week or two to allow supplier invoices to be received and input. Then after a fortnight, we can close down the purchase ledger, perhaps go on to perform our bank reconciliation before closing down the cash book. We'll have performed a stock take, which we again can close down our stock ledger. And then once we've finished all of our financial reporting for that period, we can close down the nominal. So this allows a user very clear, defined controls over each of the independent ledgers within the system. As a user, it is possible for us to be able to open closed periods. So if I'm uh, the accountant and I have realized there is a mistake in the previous period, I would be able to reopen perhaps the nominal to make any necessary adjustments and post those adjustments back into the correct period before closing again and perhaps reproducing my financial statements. This also leads us into some other key settings within the program to control how transactions can be posted against any of the independent periods. So from within here, you can see we've got a setting that allows us to set our transaction date validation. And perhaps we could use the accounting period based validation to allow users the permission to post transactions into either previous financial years. So we can say as to whether or not that is unacceptable based on whether or not, you know, the, the periods uh, have been set. The future financial years, we can specify whether or not closed accounting periods can be posted into. So perhaps we could set that to be unacceptable and whether future accounting periods that have yet to be opened are allowed postings to be performed against them. So perhaps we can say that is acceptable, but the user would receive a kind of amber warning against the transaction date when they enter it. 